Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, what is up with you? I'm so, so glad that you are here. Um, if you are not new to the channel, thank you so, so much for coming back. Um, you know I appreciate you down. Like, I appreciate you down. Um, for the loyal, loyal subscribers, thank you. I'm going to be having something special for y'all really soon. I'm just trying to wait till it's the moment is right because, you know, I want to do a giveaway. I want to do a lot of little things for y'all, but yeah, thank you for watching. All right, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Um, first things first, I want to go ahead and get to Miss Doja Cat. Um, as you all know, Doja Cat just dropped her newest um deluxe version of her album, okay? Um, and you know, the Scarlet album has came out, you know, Scarlet did it what it did what it did, all right. But the gag is Scarlet too, you would think that the deluxe version, right? You would think like, you know, you would get a lot of more. I would say more people watching your album, more people tuning into your album, more people, you know, rocking with your album. You would think it would have a bit more of a bigger, you know, push, you know? The deluxe version is typically about that. Now, Doja Cat just dropped it, right? And her deluxe version is predicted to debut at number 23 on next week's Billboard 200 with 28.6 thousand units, okay? And guess how much pure sales she got? A thousand? No, it's not even a thousand, baby. 500 it's not even 500 449 pure sales where are the doja cat fans at i mean i'm confused like and y'all had this lady headlining festivals let alone coachella like what what's going on here i'm confused okay um if i'm headlining coachella i'm not selling 449 units pure sales that is embarrassing that is just embarrassing i'm sorry that is embarrassing okay um, this can't be real. Oh, no, it is real. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness gracious. <sighs> I mean, like, no shade. How are you going to have all these number one singles, all these number one songs, you know, all these hit records on Billboard, but you can't even sell no music? That's how you know it is a machine that's keeping her going like that. Okay, I keep trying to tell y'all. A lot of machines and bots and payola is what is keeping a lot of these artists afloat. Okay. A lot of fraudulent activities, okay? Um, but y'all but y'all gonna call me a hater, though. Y'all gonna say, oh, you're being negative. Oh, complicated. You're negative. You're a hater. Da, 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 da. I'm not a hater. I just call it how it is. And y'all call me a B-I-T-C-H for it. I'm just being real here. How are you going to be having all these number ones on Billboard for weeks upon weeks? Paint the Town Red was number one for at least four weeks on that chart. And you're gonna tell me that when she drops the deluxe version of an album of that viral song... That same viral album, whatever, viral song, whatever, can only sell 449. That's not cute. That is simply not a good look, okay? And if you think that's a, if you think 449 pure sales is a good look, oh baby, that I, 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 I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Now I don't know. Maybe you know Billboard is sabotaging Doja Cat. Maybe she got some album, um, you know, pure sales removed from her calculations. Um, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe she is, you know, under attack. Allegedly, oh my gosh, Doja Cat, she's being sabotaged. Nobody's sabotaging a no fucking Doja Cat, okay? All that payola she got, all that payola she got, she ain't being sabotaged by nobody at all, okay? Um, I think it's just interesting to see. Because why are you doing this? Why? Why are y'all doing this to her? The problem with, the, the problem, but I don't understand. Like, didn't she have a sold out show? A show, a sold out tour? All them fans was in the arena for her um her show, but they didn't buy your music. I don't like who was attending the Doja Cat show then. Bots? I mean, what, were they dressed up robots? I don't understand. Like what? Like no 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 no. Um, at the show. Okay, so in my hometown, whatever. Like, she sold out the Capital One Arena. Okay, I'm confused in terms of how she can't sell out. An album rollout. Like, how your album rollout can't sell, but you can sell out. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's good. I guess I'd rather have that problem, though. Like, I'd rather have that problem of selling out an arena, but I can't sell albums. You know, I guess I'd rather have that problem because, you know, she's getting what? She got over $2 million for that show at Capital One Arena. Um, but no shade, though. Doja Cat, why can't your music sell? Like, what are they? Okay, so look, what are people watching for then? I don't know. I can't. I can't figure it out. I, I'm try I've been sitting here for like the past 10 minutes before I even film trying to figure out what went wrong like was the promo wrong i mean she's at coachella now so i mean you have all this promo for coachella i just don't get what happened okay i just don't get what happened uh maybe i'm looking too deep into it maybe it's not that big of a deal okay i don't know but let's discuss down below in the comment section okay let's move on all right y'all moving on to this next topic um as of recently SZA was at a show and um she has been teasing that 
uh, her deluxe version, okay, of the SOS album, all right, is supposed to be coming up really soon, okay? She was teasing it on her show um, visual screens, okay? So on the screen, she had something that teased, um, you know, deluxe version coming soon, okay? Um, but no shade, it's been coming soon since last year. At this point, she's turning into Normani. No shade, okay? Uh, actually, no. She not, she not turning into Normani. No, that, that, she, no, no. Normani is way worse than that, okay? But listen, though. She was teasing a music video at her show at the SOS tour last year, too. And the whole music video never came out. So I feel like her teasing this new album at the SOS tour, um, it's almost like, you know, that is a way of saying it's, it's never coming out. Because why is, like... I don't know. Maybe artists just change their mind a lot. You know, maybe artists just announce things when they get excited. But then when it's actually time to drop it, they kind of don't want to do it anymore. I mean, that, that's kind of how I am, too, with my projects that I have in my own life. You know, I have a lot of different things going on. A lot of different things going on. You know, so it's like, I understand that process. But at the same time, you know, the people who are expecting me to drop something with whatever I do, I still will at least owe them like an explanation every time. Every time, let's say I have a drop coming out, okay, I still let them know, okay, this is not coming out. Let's say I have something launched, like I always let, let people know, like, all right, cool, like I can't drop this shit right now. I'm not in the space to. Why are you having your fans being like on the cliff of a of a mountain? You know, I may drop it, I might not, I may drop it. I'm, girl, just drop the music or don't. Like I don't, I don't understand. Maybe it's a part of their marketing scheme, marketing tactics. I don't know. But I think maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. But a lot of fans did say that they're not they're not really looking looking forward to the album anymore because they've just been waiting for too long. They're just gonna you know continue to just support her, but not really be expecting an album anytime soon. You know, um, and I, I don't blame you for that. But I still think you know low key you know you should at least wait for your fave to come out with some music. Okay, no, 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 no. If you if you can't wait longer because they're taking too long, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'm, I'm gonna be real. I don't blame you. Okay. But yes, y'all, SZA has been teasing this new album. Are you all excited? Okay. Now, as for me, I was excited, though. I was excited when she announced it back in December of 2023. Okay. You know, because y'all know I love me some SZA. I love, that's my girl down. I love me some SZA. I always will love me some SZA because she's just, I don't know, she's different. Like, she's not regular. But a lot of y'all think she's boring, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, um, SZA, what's up with that, boo? Drop that album. Or be quiet, okay? On my soul. On my soul. Let's move on to this next topic. All right, y'all. Moving on to this next one. Um, We're going to go ahead and get into Nicki Minaj. She is teasing the um, FTCU Sleaze remix, okay? Um, It's coming out really soon. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm here for it, okay? Allegedly, J. Cole is on this. Um, That's fine. That's fine. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that, Okay. Y'all know Miss Red is on it too, Miss Red, okay? Um, and also another, pe- you know, there's some more people on this song, I, I believe. But um, Nicki Minaj will release the FTCU Sleaze Mix on Friday, April 19th, okay? Um, so that's coming out this week, this Friday. Yep, mm-hmm. Friday the 19th, okay? Now, let's tune into this, okay? Um, I'm excited for this. I'm definitely excited for this, but I feel like people, I don't know, people are definitely still streaming FTCU, right? But people are not really as streaming it. People are not streaming it as much as they would have if TikTok was still allowing people to publish their music on the platform. So this is a perfect opportunity for her to, you know, continue to, you know, water her music and allow it to grow. All right. You know, dropping uh, more remixes um, after she was able to be viral herself. A lot of these artists' songs be trashy and flopping. And then they think putting a remix on a song is gonna automatically make it go viral and make it big. No, okay, FTCU was big without a feature, okay? Just reminding y'all, cause a lot of y'all love to just think that, oh, I'm gonna put a feature on this song and it's gonna go viral. No, that's not a good formula um, to live by, Lotto, okay? I'm just being real here. So her doing the FTCU sleeves mix is great. Um, Red is on it, we got Cole. I want Lamar on that joint. I want Kendrick on there. Uh, why don't Nicki and Kendrick have a feature together? I mean, I'm sorry, why don't they have a song together? What's up with that? Okay, I'm gonna have to DM Nikki um, and say her, tell her, uh, Nick, Nikki. Okay, what's up with uh, Kendrick Lamar? Okay, and this is the perfect time too, Nikki, to get Kendrick Lamar your song. Mm-hmm. It's time for you to, uh, you know, do Drake how he do you. Okay, 
Link it up with your ops. Yeah, in case y'all do not know, Drake be moving really weird, okay? Especially when it comes to Miss Nikki. All right, so I want her to move even weirder. Yeah, let's get that Kendrick Lamar feature out, all right? I would love to see that. Ooh, I would love, I would, I would, I would, I would, like, cry of tears to see Nikki collab with Kendrick during the midst of the Kendrick and Drake beef. Oh, I would be so happy. I would make a dedicated video just, just, just for that. Just for that. Okay, I might even show my face of me crying of happiness. I promise you, I would. Okay, if Nikki and Kendrick get on a song together during the Drake beef, oh, I'm so serious. Okay, I just might buy the whole entire Lochi shoe collection. Okay, okay, I, I, I'm for real. Put a, put a couple bands in a uh, Nikki Big account. Okay, um, but yeah, that's my personal opinion on that. Okay, um, let's discuss that. Let's discuss that. Are you out here for the uh, sleaze mix? Okay, now, um, let's go ahead and get into um, Nikki. She just went number one on the uh pole star artist power index chart okay now this this is a popular chart that ranks um the most popular artists worldwide based on ticket sales streaming and airplay and social performance so nikki has just went number one on the chart as you all know she has been out selling um with her tour okay her tour has been going crazy she's been getting she's been getting a lot of streaming uh her airplay has been going crazy as well all right so all these things are um you know calculating up to be her uh, number one spot okay all this is what is you know included into her getting number one and this chart like i said is a pretty popular chart okay because it combines you know how billboard just combines like you know just like uh radio play and streams this chart it's like artist power like you know social power um live performances power and like you know streaming power and a little bit of airplay too but like this is like everything okay so she's number one on this chart so congratulations on that this is her first time being, being number one i believe um, you know, so that, that 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 shows you that her career. Why did I just stutter like that? I saw like a car starting up. Um, that shows that her career is repeaking again. You know, she's having a peak again. You know how um in twenty uh, twelve uh I'm sorry twenty eleven Super Bass was was going crazy. That was a peak of her career. You know, back in twenty fourteen when Anaconda was going crazy, peak of her career. Back in two thousand ten when she dropped Pink Friday, that was a peak of her career. Um, 2022, when she went number one for Super Girl, peak of her career. 2024, she's having sold out tours, sold out business ventures. Um, you know, just crazy, crazy, crazy numbers of money coming in. It's a peak of her career. So she's having a continuous peak of her career. Um, so her going number one on this chart, on the um, artist power chart, to me is not surprising at all because, like I said, she's having a peak of her career again. Okay, so congratulations on that. Um, let's discuss this down below in the comment section. I would love to hear what you have to say. Okay. But yeah, let's move on to this next topic. Moving on to Beyonce. Um, Beyonce, as you all know, she is going to be going on the Cowboy Carter World Tour. Um, allegedly, tickets were supposed to be coming out last week, I believe. I don't know what happened to that at all. Um, I don't know what happened. Maybe she scrapped it because she's not ready. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and she also was supposed to do a Las Vegas residency at the Las Vegas Spear. It is a new venue that has came out in Las Vegas. And it's like a, you know, 360... Uh, you, Google it after this video. Google it. Um, or if you watch it on TV, Google it on your phone. Yeah, and you're gonna you gonna see what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, it was it's a pretty like you know big 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 deal to go there and do a residency. But apparently you know Beyonce didn't like the plans didn't fall through obviously because of financial reasons. You know I guess she wants to negotiate a bit more money. Um, you know because when you do residencies, you also get money from the residency as well. Um, because you you know it's an investment. You know, so you have to get paid from them. And then you also get money from the ticket sales. And it's a whole lot of negotiation going on regarding the tickets for uh, residencies. Okay. It's a lot. It's not just as simple as, you know, it's a, it's a lot. Okay. Now, moving on to Beyonce. Allegedly, <laughs> um, they saying Beyonce going to make a billion dollars off the Cowboy Carter tour. Uh, um, okay. Anyway, um... I'm not doubting her, but okay. Bloomberg Business predicts Beyonce's Cowboy Carter tour could gross a billion dollars. Okay. Um, that's not, I mean, okay. Okay, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. That's possible. That's possible. No shade. Renaissance did over $550 million. Okay. And she didn't even really tour the entire world. So, no shade. Beyonce could do a billion. Mm -hmm. Beyonce could definitely do a billion if she tours Brazil, Africa, okay, Canada, some more, all right? Uh, you know, get, go down to Mexico, 
go over to more places in England, okay? Like, really do a world tour, okay? It, the Renaissance World Tour, it was a half A world tour. It was a world tour, yeah, but like, girl, you could have did a few more cities, a few more states, and no shade, you could have did a few more nights in a few more of these cities. Like, you could have did like four nights back to back and you would have sold out, I promise you, okay? Atlanta had three nights, I believe. Um, my city had two nights. Um, I was there, both of them, of course. It's like, hello. But I feel like personally, uh, the Kyle Bocata tour, I mean, no shade, but girl, if you were supposed to be on tour, you should be announcing it pretty soon. Okay? Um, yeah. You should have been announced that tour. Because no shade, Beyonce, people's coins right now, they're not really looking too good. I mean, they are. I mean, people. Have, I'm, I'm basically saying that people have to plan for things like this. Okay? People have to plan for, you know, venues and, like, big budget, expensive, like, yeah. Like, you can't just prop up a whole world tour on people who got rent due tomorrow. Girl, what the fuck is your problem, <laughs> okay? Um, I feel like Beyonce needs to, her team needs to understand, okay? If you're going to go on a world tour for this summertime, allegedly, you should have announced the world tour tickets back in February, okay? Um, no shade. I'm being real here. But, you know, it's Beyonce and the Beehive. They're going to buy the tickets, okay? Um, I would buy... I'm definitely going to go to the show, for sure. Um, but I'm not going to go broke for no Beyonce. Baby, Beyonce ain't paying my bills. So I'm going to make sure my bills are covered first. Then I go see Beyonce, okay? Some of the Beehive, they bring a little backwards. Why are you paying to go see Beyonce and your rent is a month late, baby? Your bills is like... Your water got shut off. And you paying Beyonce money to go see her twerk her ass on stage to the uh-oh song? Girl, uh-uh. It went from uh-oh to uh-uh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-uh, 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 for real, okay? Um, but yeah, let's discuss down below. I want to hear what y'all got to say about this. Can you all see Beyonce making a billion dollars off tour like Taylor Swift? Um, you know, Taylor Swift's heiress tour, you know, she is um being praised for boosting the economy, Okay. Um, she was going to different cities and different states and she's boosting the economy. Like, there are certain governors, like, begging to pay Taylor Swift to come back to boost the economy again for their city. Okay? Um, yep, research that. Mm hmm Research that. People are trying to get Taylor Swift back in their city to boost their economy again. It's crazy. So, let's discuss that down below in the comment section. I would love to hear what you have to say down below. All right? Uh, let's move on to this next topic. All right, child, moving on to this next topic. Um, apparently little Uzi Vert... He's getting a lot of backlash um, on social media because he was up here voguing at Coachella, okay? And doing the, um, not the death, not death drop. He was doing a, what do y'all call it? Y'all don't call it a death drop. Y'all call it a um, something. I forgot what it's called. It's called a dip. He was up there um, voguing and doing a dip, okay? If you know the difference between um, a death drop and dip, baby, he was doing a full-on dip, yo. Like, yeah. Um, now, people he, people are giving him a lot of backlash for this. Oh, uh, Lil Uzi, you're a G-A-Y. Oh, you're a sus. Oh, you a S-I-S-S-Y. Oh, JT is dating a gay man. X, Y, and Z. All this rah, rah. Now, me personally, I don't care what he's doing, okay? I don't care what he's doing, okay? I mean, if he ain't hurt nobody, I don't have a problem with him doing all that, okay? But no shade, though, Lil Uzi. If you have something to say, we all are here to listen to it, okay? Like I said... If you have something to say, come to the front right now, all right? Because it give a little bit, you know, something is off. I mean, not off. Nothing, nothing wrong with doing that at all. But I'm just saying, it's like, girl, what's going on? It's like every time we see Uzi, it's like he becoming more and more of a, you know, you know what? I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but JT, you know, JT is not having this. She's going online, like, defending her man, as she should. But I'm surprised JT and Uzi are still together. I I, I did not know. They, like, their relationship must be really strong. Um... It must really be because, like, I had no idea they were still even, like, together. Like, she posted up a picture with him, like, um, I'm standing beside him no matter what. Okay, we good. <laughs> Please. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> I promise you. Girl, you can have all that and then some. <laughs> I promise you, JT. Uh, but, you know, you know, people, a lot, a lot of people are giving him um, Lil Uzi for backlash. And I don't think he needs to have any backlash for him expressing himself. You know, if he wants to go up there in Vogue and, you know, do a dip, that's fine. Let him, let him have his fun, you know? Uh... But no shade, though, I don't know. I'm going to leave it alone because I don't want to be too messy. But, yeah, let's move on to this next topic. All right, y'all. Moving on to this next topic. Um, I want to go ahead and get into Miss JT. Um, apparently, Miss JT herself, she has gotten herself 
a new achievement for her new song, okay? Um, her new song, Sideways, okay? Sideways has gotten herself a 100,000 units sold, all right? Congratulations, congratulations. Sideways is now gold, okay? JT says that she is so proud of herself. Um, her second release of many more to come. Thank you, Juvies. We're growing together. Thank you for supporting me on this new journey, okay? Steady, all right? Um, this is good. I like this for her. I love this for her. Um, she definitely is growing. I feel like her, um, her, 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 like, career is definitely going to become way, way, way bigger than what it is. Like, we're going to see her, like, bl blow up within the next two years. Something about JT's energy this time around with her, of her making music feels different. It feels a bit more serious. It feels a bit more intentional. And it feels a bit more like she's actually trying to become something and actually make her impact into the music industry. I'm not saying she wasn't trying in City Girls, but I feel like her solo career, like, she has everything in her hands to become successful. You know, she already has, you know, fame. She already has industry industry support from, you know, the biggest female rapper out. You know, she already has connections in the industry. You know, so she already has everything she needs to be a viral sensation, okay? All she needs to do is keep going, all right? Um, you know, keep popping her mess, keep popping her ish, you know, and keep on doing her, all right? So, you know, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it, okay? Um, we're gonna see JT a lot more. I'm pretty sure um, JT ain't going nowhere. JT is not going nowhere, but I know who is going somewhere. Carisha. Oh yeah, Carisha's going behind the bars on my cell. She definitely is, all right? Um, but yes, uh, let's talk about that down below, okay? Let's talk about that down below, <laughs> all right? Um, but yeah, y'all, um, Sideways or No Bars? What is y'all favorite song? Okay, I think for me, it's No Bars. It just hits, it just hits really hard in the club, for sure, okay? Second verse, to you hate. Hopes. All right, child. Moving on to um, Horilla. Apparently, Horilla is upset that she cannot use TikTok to promote her music, and people are online talking about this. Let's get into it. I'm mad about y'all. I'm mad because I can't use TikTok to promote my. I'm mad y'all can't make TikTok to my music, man. I'm mad. Y'all heard her. She is mad. Y'all can't make TikToks to my music, man. Okay, y'all heard her. Okay. Um, now, people are saying this is embarrassing. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing the fact that you can't get your music to pop outside of TikTok. But no shade, Glorilla is a, a newer artist. So, like, she doesn't have any other mass appeal other than TikTok. Like, outside of TikTok or, like, you know, these newer age ways of music promotion, she can only rely on that, okay? But she should be thankful and grateful that she has a twerk challenge going on, all right, for her song. I think that's so gutter, though. Like, you need a twerk challenge to make your song pop. That is so embarrassing to me. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I feel like a lot of these newer artists are going to be feeling that pressure of them not being able to promote their music because a lot of their music is going to be flopping. No shade. That TikTok, um, TikTok music band is waking up a lot of tea. It's waking up a lot of tea, all right? But yeah, let's move on to this next topic, all right? Yes, Coco. All right, Coco Jones is coming through with some new music, y'all. Um, Now, I don't know if she's working on a new project or a new album, okay? Um, but she's definitely working on some new Mew Mew. Um, Coco Jones has been out here for a little while, you know what I'm saying, giving y'all um, the bops, okay? Um, I'm excited. Okay, I'm excited for real, for real, because I feel like personally, um, you know, Coco, she needs to go ahead and drop some new music, okay? Now, how do I feel about this? I think this is good. I think this is great. Um, she just won a, a Grammy, all right? She got herself a Grammy Award lately, but that's cool. But I think personally, Grammys don't mean much. But hey, I'm not going. I'm not going to sit up here and you know, like you know, downplay her achievements. So congratulations to Coco. Um, new Coco musical on the way. Okay, let's discuss down below. How do you feel about the R&B girls? Okay, do you all feel like these R&B girls are reviving R&B? Let's discuss down below in the comment section. I would love to hear what you have to say. But yes, that's all you got from me in today's video. Like I said, I have something special coming for the um, OG, not OG, but like you know, people who I know this will be supporting really, really heavy. I got something for y'all. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to the channel. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, tap that bell, and I will see you in the next one. Be safe.